now that we have created all of our references the only thing left to do is to export them into a Word document so there are two ways of um, exporting references from EndNote Web into Microsoft Word the first way is the site while you write tool which we downloaded a, li a little bit earlier on uh, so I'll come back and show you that in just a few mo moments but the other way is to export them just all as one um, as one file so in order to do that you hover over the format option on the top you click on bibliography uh, from there we're going to choose the group that we've set up so we want to export all the references from the group assignment one um, the bibliographic style we can choose Harvard UL but you can choose whichever style um, is recommended by your department most of them use Harvard UL here Mary I um, and then the file format we're going to choose RTF and that will mean it exports properly over to Microsoft Word so I'll click on save and that's downloaded my my um, list of references there so I'll just double click on that and that will automatically open up in Microsoft Word um, so there's all of my references they're already formatted for me um, I didn't have to really worry too much about punctuation structure or formatting so EndNote Web has done all of that work for me. Okay, so we have just seen how to export all of our references together um, to a Microsoft Word document. The other way to do this is to use the Site While You Write plugin in Microsoft Word and we installed that plugin in one of the earlier videos. The benefit of using the Site While You Write plugin is that not only will it create the bibliography for you but it will also create the in-text citation as you're writing so we'll go over to Microsoft Word and we'll just let's say I'm doing an assignment and I use a quotation so I just leave the cursor beside the quotation I click on the EndNote ribbon and then I insert citations and I just need to search for the author that I'm quoting um, and then I click insert and we'll see that that will automatically create the bibliography but it also automatically creates the citation now the only thing that's missing from this is the page number of that reference so if I click on the citation itself I then click edit citations and down here we have the option to enter a page number so I'll just type the page number in I don't need any punctuation in that just the number itself and click OK and then we'll see that it's it's inserted the page number then for me now if I use another quotation at another point in the paper and I click on insert I find the author that I just quoted um, I insert that we'll now see that it's building the bibliography in the correct format so it's alphabetical as well as automatic um, if I at this point Okay, so maybe I've I want to change my formatting style. So I'm using Harvard UL 2016, but if I want to use APA, for example, all I have to do is click on APA, and we've seen that it's auto it's going to automatically uh, update the referencing style for me. And you can choose from any of the referencing styles that are available uh, through the plugin here.